This is a quick walkthrough of new features in Machine Tools 0.313. Version 0.3 released a year ago, and a lot has changed or has been added since then. I plan to create a new video, covering everything there is to know about the current state of Machine Tools. But it will have to wait until early next year. 0313 brings two new Pi menus, the first one being the Transform Pi. I have it mapped to the mouse, but like for everything else, feel free to remap it to what suits you in the machine tool's preferences. The menu includes the pivot points, the orientations and the new settings to affect only the pivots, locations or parents. In addition, at the bottom there are a few buttons to change pivot and orientation at the same time, similar to action centers in Modo. Play around with them to see how they work, or edit the pie to adjust them to your needs. The second new pie menu is the UV Align Pie. It's mapped to Alt A by default, just like the one in Edit Mesh Mode. And it provides the same min max coordinate manipulation, just in UV space. It's pretty straightforward to use, and behaves differently than Blender's native UV Align tool. And while at it, here's a bit of a decal machine teaser, in regards to the upcoming trim sheet toolset. I'm changing trims, simply by scrolling with the mouse, very similar to changing panel decal types with the adjust tool. But enough of that, back to machine tools now. The shading pie has received buttons to toggle between presets for Eevee. Low, enables screen space ambient occlusion and reflections. The high preset, adds refraction in bloom. An Ultra enables volumetric lighting and makes Eevee use the scene world. Of course, there need to be light sources present in the first place, for volumetric lighting. If you like to work without transformation gizmos, and manipulate objects in local space, then you'll sometimes run into situations, where it's not obvious, how an object is oriented. And so it can be guesswork, to figure out the local axes of an object. You could enable the gizmo temporarily in that case. Or you could use the new show object axes toggle in the shading pie. This will work for any objects in the selection, or for all visible objects, if nothing is selected. You can also tweak the size and alpha of these local coordinate systems and save that to your startup file. The Edit Mode Align Pie now contains a tool to align one or multiple objects to an edge of another object. To access it, select at least two objects, and go into Edit Mode. Then select one edge in each object, where the last edge, is the one you want to align to. Understand, that to perfectly align the two objects, you need to repeat this with another edge, because there is otherwise an unlimited number of possibilities. The tool can be run with the Alt key pressed, which will then also snap the objects together. This works by proximity. If instead you want to snap based on edge midpoints, hold down control. Moving on to the cursor pie. If you've ever tried to align the cursor to an object, vert, edge or face, you may have noticed that the cursor rotation is not set. Unless, you do it via the cursor pie in machine tools. This will even work for floating edges. Now, if you look at the different workspaces I have in this file, you can see how they have all different viewport locations and rotations. As a result, switching workspaces can become disorienting and require viewport manipulation just to get back to where you were just a second ago. The workspace pie in version 0.313 now alleviates this. The same viewport location and orientation is enforced for the first 3D view in every workspace.
In this file, I have duplicated the general and UV workspaces, to create alternative versions. And by naming the duplicates like I did, I can quickly switch between both versions, by repeatedly selecting a workspace in the Pi. The material workspace, doesn't have another version, so nothing happens there. And if you toggle between alternative workspace versions, not only are viewport changes pushed to the other workspace, but changes to the shading are as well. The multi-level local view tool, called Focus, was introduced in version 0.3. In 0313, it has a second mode, accessed by a separate keymap, which can be used like Blender's native tool to frame a selection. The difference is, it will ignore mirror modifiers and always frame the original part of the object. Blender will actually zoom out there, when I want to focus in on the part. Focused is the job. And if at any point you need to take the mirror mods into account, you can just disable the ignore mirrors option in the operator properties. And for what it's worth, the tool is not lagging here, it's just Blender's miserable undo performance. Focus doesn't do any viewport transition by default, but you can turn that on in the preferences, if you prefer it. To conclude, the mirror and unmirror tools, now also support grease pencil objects. Reviewing these workspace switches and changes of shading presets here while editing, I realize it may come across as confusing, but give it a try, it's very nice, and feels great. To use the workspace pi, you need to either name your workspaces like I did here, or better just edit the pies.py file in the UI folder. I hope you enjoy the update. It's been a bit overdue, but decal machine has kept me unpredictably busy this year. More on that soon.